hello everyone welcome back to a brand new vlog and this is actually me from the future i have just been editing this video and for some reason i have accidentally deleted the beginning clips of this video so i haven't introed it and if i didn't do this clip you would just be going straight into it and have absolutely no idea what is going on so I thought I would intro the video and <laughs> let it make sense a little bit. I'm very sorry about that. But you are about to see me going through Jack's birthday presents because this is the day before Jack's birthday and I'm organising it all and wrapping everything and getting it all lovely. So let's go straight into it and I'm going to show you what I got Jack for his birthday. Okay, let's go through some presents. So firstly... Jack's wrapping paper this year. We are both obsessed with dogs. I think we must talk about dogs probably about five times a day. Uh, he's constantly sending me videos of dogs and I'm sending him videos of dogs. <laughs> so I found this wrapping paper in HomeSense and I thought it was just so cute. Um, it's this white wrapping paper with little black sketches of dogs on the front, like all different types. Um, there's Dalmatians, there's Boxer Dogs, Labradors, Golden Retrievers, all sorts. So I just thought it was really sweet and I thought he would quite like that. Um, and I always like to make his birthday wrapping really different to Christmas because Christmas is so close that everything is quite festive this time of year. So I feel like that's completely different. And one of his presents I actually have already given to him because he really wanted it. And I thought there's no point waiting until his birthday because he can actually wear it. So I got him a really nice country kind of overcoat. Um, it's like a tweed field jacket type thing from New Forest Clothing. And they have incredible things on there. If you are looking for anything country related for Christmas, definitely check out that website. I've got so many things for myself from there. And yeah, I love it. It's so good. So I've actually... Oh, <laughs> The first thing I've pulled out is actually not even from me. This is from my mum, but um, we bought them together. But I wasn't gonna see her before Jack's birthday. So she said, can you just wrap it for me and give it to him? So I said, of course. Um, so I've got his birthday card from my mum and my mum got Jack a new aftershave, which is something that he goes through so quickly. And he's always on the hunt for a new one. Um, his fragrances are usually Jimmy Choo, creed the aventus for him creed i think it's aventus i'm not sure actually but creed he's obsessed with the black bottle um which does smell amazing but it is a fortune i also once bought him a black cartier fragrance that was really lovely um so yeah he just really likes different fragrances all the time he doesn't really have one that he goes back to but i smelled this when we were shopping the other day and this smells so similar to Creed. This is from Mont Blanc. My mum actually ended up getting this gift box because um, the lady in Hooper's, where we went in Tunbridge Wells, said that it's actually the same value to get the whole gift set than just the bottle, which is definitely something to look out for when you're shopping for Christmas this year, especially in department stores. Always ask if the gift set, look at the price, does it match up? Because actually, my mum has ended up getting the shower gel and a little travel fragrance for free so i feel like it's just a no-brainer um so yeah this is the mont blanc explorer it's so chic and minimal i love the packaging and it just smells incredible if you know what the creed fragrance smells like it's very very similar to that but a much better price point so i think this set was yeah 79 pounds and that is how much this one was so basically these ones are for free which is fantastic so that is what jack's getting from my mum <laughs> and then from me so obviously i already got him the um coat um but also i picked up these little cheese knives in home sense just as a little extra because he is always moaning about the cheese knives that we have so i thought i would get him some new ones and i just thought these were really chic a nice walnut dark wooden handle and then really really big knives with gold i just think they're really lovely and we are always hosting evenings with cheese boards and things like that so i think it's just really nice and they were only 7.99 so i think that's quite a good little extra present to throw in there that i think he's gonna love 
He did actually request a couple of things, um, which I have dished out between the families. One of them being the aftershave, but the other one being boxers. Honestly, I don't understand how he gets holes in his pants all the time. It is crazy. But fresh pair of Calvin Klein's, which is the boxers that he wears, if anyone is interested. Practical presents. I think that is what I always go for with the men. Practical things that they're going to use, that they're not just going to sit there and they're never going to touch them. I always like to get things that are useful. And then, this is a random one, but I just saw this in Hoopers and I thought, that is fantastic. So this is a little leather tray and I'm guessing you could have it on your desk, you could have it anywhere, but I think this is going to be perfect for his bedside table because when he gets home from work, he'll go upstairs and get changed and take out the million keys that he has for work, his card holder, receipts, loads of crap basically. So now it can live in this little tray and I think it's going to be perfect. It's so beautiful, this lovely dark tan croc leather. It's kind of like this lovely velvety suede inside. So yeah, I thought that was a really nice little trinket present. So if anyone's got a nice office or maybe they have a desk at work and they want something to like put all their bits in but it still looks nice. And this was £25 from Hooper's. And then the other thing I got him to open is this little jumper, which I know he already loves this jumper. So I got him another color. This is from Barber and it's a really lovely thick knitted little quarter zip, quarter zip, half zip. I'm not sure. I think it's quarter um, knit jumper. And this is going to be perfect for him. And I love the color of this. I think he's going to love this. Hopefully this is going to be a winner and it's the right size. The last present that I have for Jack which he does already know about is I booked for us to go and stay in our favorite Airbnb in our favorite place if you've watched the vlogs for a while you will probably know where I'm talking about it's not too far away um so we're going there in a few weeks and I cannot wait so stay tuned because there will be a vlog coming but yeah that is everything I've got for Jack for his birthday this year and I cannot believe this is the ninth birthday that i'm celebrating with him which is absolutely crazy because i met him we've been together for eight years but i met him a couple of months just before his birthday so we'd actually started like properly dating and i think actually we started going out boyfriend and girlfriend today on the 20th of november because he had booked for us to go for dinner in London and he came to my house the day before his birthday, um, which is when we were going and I had written in his card, will you be my boyfriend? <laughs> and I feel like that just sums me up. I was too impatient to wait for him to ask me, so I asked him. Um, so yeah, technically today is our anniversary, but we usually celebrate the day that we met, which is the 15th of August, um, just because Obviously, this is like right before his birthday. So we celebrate the date that we met. Um, and the 15th of August is quite a meaningful date in Jack's family. Loads of things have happened on that date. So it just felt quite fitting to have that as our anniversary. Um, but yeah, how funny is that? So anyway, I need to wrap all of these bits and wrap them in this little dog paper. But the problem is now I have no idea what to get him for Christmas because... I always get so many things for his birthday and then at Christmas I think what the hell do I get you now because I have such a big list and I always get messages from Jack's brother, Jack's mum, Jack's nanny saying what does Jack want for his birthday so I kind of spread the list about and um, get everyone to get something that he's mentioned or things that he's talked about in the couple of months leading up to it so I know he's getting things that he really likes but yeah now we need to brainstorm Christmas presents.
little bit behind schedule today. I have been sat at my desk for hours this afternoon and I've just looked at the time and it's quarter past three and I thought, oh my gosh, I need to get to the shops before the school traffic and also before it gets dark because I actually really don't enjoy driving in the dark. So I'm heading off to the shops. Luckily, it's not that far away. Uh, I'm just gonna go to our local little village and have a look for some little party birthday decorations. Jack specifically told me not to get any decorations and any party balloons or anything, but it's his birthday and I'm, I'm not going to listen to him because he doesn't really like his birthday that much and I just want it to be really nice. So because we are going for dinner tomorrow night, I think I'm gonna do a little setup this evening because tomorrow morning is going to be such a rush before he goes to work and tomorrow night is probably going to be such a rush because he's going to have to whiz back from work shower get ready and then we're going to go straight to the restaurant so we're not going to have that much time to kind of celebrate it properly so i think tonight is the night before his birthday i am going to try and get him oh <laughs> I think I am going to get him a cake with some candles, try and get a couple of balloons, maybe a banner. I'm just gonna see what they've got. Um, I actually did think the other day, we were talking about desserts and Jack was saying how much he loves donuts and how he hadn't had a donut for ages. And then I was saying to him, what are your favorite donuts? Because I thought maybe I could get him some for his birthday. And he said, I was saying like, do you like Krispy Kremes, donut time, like what flavors? And he just said, oh, I just like the jam and the jam ones, the sugary jam ones from the supermarket. So I was like, okay. So I might get some donuts and put some candles in them because I think he's just gonna wait and prefer that rather than a cake. So that is my current plan. I will see you at some point and let you know what I've got. Fingers crossed I can get some bits. I also look awful, so I hope I don't see anyone I know. <laughs> okay, I have finished work for the day. I've just done Jack's little birthday setup in the dining room, so I will show you that shortly. I'm also going to start prepping dinner because I'm making a roast dinner this evening and I'm gonna put all of Jack's favorite things in it like cauliflower cheese, pigs in blankets, and I'm making it all from scratch, so I want to just prep it so that everything's kind of ready to go in the oven. Um, so I'm gonna make a start on that now, but let me show you how the dining room is looking. I haven't gone crazy. Usually I do a lot more than this, but um, I know he's not that fussed about it. And I just wanted to do a little, a little something just to celebrate. So this is how it is looking. Obviously you know that I hate this black ceiling light. I honestly absolutely hate it. So we will be changing that hopefully very soon, but I've stuck some balloons to the ceiling. I blew these up and then I've just attached some ribbon and I've used some sticky back tape to attach these to the ceiling and it works so well. So I've just attached a couple to the light as well, just to get some different heights. And then on the table, around these lovely flowers that I was sent actually from Haute Flowers, they are beautiful. Um, I have just put all of his presents that I wrapped, a couple of cards from some neighbors, another present from a friend, and then I've just put his little donut on a plate with some candles in. And then the other donuts I've put here, I got him sugared donuts and custard donuts because I know he will take these to work and everyone will be very pleased about it this week. But yes, I think it looks really lovely. So so when he pulls on the drive, I will light his candles um, so that he can blow them out and we can begin his birthday celebrations. But it's definitely lovely in here. I can see Jack on Fine Friends. He is coming down the lane and he shouldn't be long at all. I think he's about six minutes away. So dinner is cooking and I thought I would show you what I've just done. So I have decided that I thought we should sit at the table. So. I've set it up, excuse the washing in the back, I've got so much washing to do, but I have just laid the table with the White Company placemats. I love these because they're reversible, so I can kind of use them different sides depending on the vibes. Um, and then I've just got a little napkin from Amazon and obviously cutlery. And then I got these little candlestick holders from Amazon. They are so good because they're really minimal. So they work with any tablescape. So I've just popped a few little candles in there and then everything else is still looking the same. So um, I've just moved this up a little bit, but I thought 
I'm gonna quickly light this before he, when he pulls on the drive, so that he can have his donut with his candles in. Oh my gosh, he's coming down the lane. <laughs> I'm excited. morning everyone it is tuesday and i i'm actually not supposed to be showing you this jumper but i can't not i have just unboxed some new bits from lily silk and i actually have a whole new video coming very soon but this jumper i literally love it this outfit i've actually had an outfit very similar to this saved on my Pinterest, which I always leave my Pinterest and everything linked below, but I love this. It's very kind of like classic, comfortable, but looks really smart and really put together. And I think if I was heading out today, I would wear this with some little heeled boots, a long coat, and really just mixing and matching these grey tones but also if I was wearing some grey skinny jeans, knee high boots, a nice country coat this is a very versatile outfit and I just love pairing a shirt with a knit I think it just really elevates it and it allows you to kind of style up a knitted piece oh my goodness the quality of this cable knit is stunning it's so lightweight and soft i know that they actually do this in a couple of other colors and i think i'm going to go online today and order them because they do this in i think a camel and a cream i can hear a car it's a delivery and it's for me <laughs> this is a really exciting delivery actually i've been waiting for this for ages and for some reason it was so delayed. So I'm gonna go grab it and I will unbox it with you. But how amazing is this outfit? I've just got a simple crisp white shirt, the lily silk knit, tailor trousers. These are wool tailor trousers from Zara. I actually got these in the sale last year and they are amazing. Popped a little belt on, oh, I love it. And I have got my slippers on because I am just working from home today, but Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed, I'm absolutely in love. So I think I'm gonna be ordering this in the other colors. But like I said, I'm not really supposed to be showing you yet. I've got a whole video coming very soon, but let me go get this parcel and I'll be back. Okay. Oh, so I actually ordered this for the afternoon tea that I hosted with all the ladies a couple of weeks ago and it has taken so long to arrive, um, but this is from a website called Wolf and Badger, which if you haven't ever looked at the website, go and have a look because honestly, they have the most incredible pieces. It's kind of like a one-stop shop with loads of different brands. I guess it's a bit like a department store, but online. Um, they have some incredible brands on there. Oh, I just... It's a really, really good website. I actually said to Jack when he was asking me what I wanted for Christmas, I said, just go and have a look at that website because everything on there is amazing. Um, and I wanted to upgrade a couple of my table wear pieces this year. So I picked up a couple of bits and these are looking amazing. So firstly, I got these napkins. I, they came in a pack of two, so I got two. So we've got four napkins and I probably need to get another couple of packs just for when we're hosting, but I thought I would start off with four. These are from a brand called Avalon Home. And I actually think the other thing I got is from there as well. 
They are so beautiful, really kind of autumn winter print with the oak leaf and the acorn. Let me take one of these bits off so we can see it in full. They're just gorgeous and I really want to inject a bit more life and colour into my tablescapes because all the things that I have are quite neutral and minimal so I wanted to just inject a little bit of something so I picked up these and I just think they're beautiful really lovely quality really thick actually nice square oak leaf napkin and as you guys know because I say it all the time I love to bring the bits that are around the house inside so we have a lot of oak trees um, along our lane we have the massive one in the garden so I just I think it's really lovely to bring that inside so I absolutely love these and then I also picked up a tablecloth which I was kind of hoping this would be a bit of a non-seasonal tablecloth that I could just use all year round and oh my gosh this is beautiful Oh, I love the colours of this. Okay, so as you can see, if I can hold this up, it's a really beautiful little illustration um, with a cream background and this lovely green colour on the front. Just beautiful. So I think this is going to work really nicely for any kind of season. And I actually think I would really like to use this for Christmas. Um, and then add in some nice dark burgundy bows and loads of candlesticks and maybe a little bit of pine on the table or something just to kind of create a nice backdrop um, that's still quite minimal but still really lovely and detailed. So yeah, I think this is going to be really gorgeous. So that's a couple of little bits that I picked up. And this tablecloth, again, is from Avalon Home. And I just think they've got gorgeous pieces. So I'm guessing they probably have their own website. I haven't actually looked. But, um, oh yes, they do. Avalonhome.co.uk. I think I'm going to have a look on their website and see what else they do. Because I'm really impressed with those bits. But it's actually quite late in the morning today. I've had a bit of a slow start. I've been on the phone to my mum. And I've been kind of like doing really random admin bits. Like deleting things off my emails. Upgrading my storage on my Google Drive. Things that take ages. So I'm now ready to get on with some bits. So I've got some filming to do. I've got some shooting to do. I've got some really gorgeous pieces that I'm shooting today. And you guys know I love Astrid and Mew so much. I've worked with them for years now. Um, I always say the same thing whenever I talk about them. But I just love their pieces. So I've got some really beautiful festive sparkles to shoot today for a campaign on instagram if you are thinking about christmas presents i have got so many gift guides coming very soon they're a little bit later this year but they will be coming i promise all on my ltk so if you don't follow me on like to know it really recommend that you do my name is just lauren grace life i do also post them all on instagram and tag them in my highlights if you don't want to download the app um but Yes, I'm sure there will be a lot of Astrid and Mew pieces because they are just gorgeous. And I'm not working with them um, on YouTube, I'm working with them on Instagram, but I am 1000% sure that I will be wearing all of these bits for festive occasions to come. And also while I'm here, I have just unboxed another lovely gift and I thought I would share it with you because it's another small brand and you know I love to shout about small brands. This is identity lingerie and they do the most stunning pieces they use 100 percent recycled materials they're kind of like the fabric remnants that they create their accessories with so i've got some scrunchies here a super big dark olive green scrunchie and then i've also got a little one this is so gorgeous so well made their branding as well is just beautiful and i also have one of the little kind of everyday ones which is beautiful i actually don't have a little hair tie in this color so i think that is going to go straight on my vanity desk and now for the main part firstly this is packaged absolutely beautifully in this silk little drawstring bag with their um labeling on the front so stunning and i think this is actually also made with upcycled fabric remnants which is just incredible you guys know i love my sleeper set 
and it is quite expensive so when they reached out to me and asked if i wanted to pick something i thought this would be amazing to share with you this is another little sleepwear set but this is in a beautiful dark olive silk how stunning is this but also we have got the beautiful feathers as an outfit as a shirt as a little loungewear set oh my gosh this is stunning super super soft and i love the black um, feathers just to contrast they had so many colors so if you are wanting something pink something baby blue they have honestly something for everyone they also have patterned pajamas they are stunning and then i've got the little trousers as well with the feathers on the bottom so another beautiful pajama set for my little christmases hosting and lounging around when i want to wear something a bit more fancy I absolutely love this. Oh, this also has pockets. That's so lovely. Oh, thank you so much to Identity Lingerie. That is such a beautiful little present this winter. And I will leave these pyjamas linked below. So if you want to go and have a look online and see what else they've got, if you're in the market for Christmas presents, something for yourself, really lovely to support a smaller independent brand. And I always try to do that around this time of year. I think it's really nice to support the smaller brands as and where you can. I think a lot of the time at Christmas, you kind of go to those big brand names, but it's so important to support the smaller brands and keep them in business. And every order you make really makes a difference and puts like a huge smile on their face and really impacts their business as opposed to just ordering loads of things from a big retail company or something like that. And also the box it came in is absolutely beautiful. So I will be keeping this as a little storage box. getting ready for tonight's dinner and I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing in a little bit of a hurry as we always are when we go for midweek dinners but I am wearing my gorgeous little knitted set from let me shut this from um Riojas that I am obsessed with and cannot stop wearing at the moment I showed it to you in my party wear video and I just love it I think it is perfect for this time of year it's so comfortable, it still looks quite smart because I'm wearing a little skirt. So this is perfect because we're going to, I'm out of breath because the um, postman just came at 6pm, so late. So I just ran down the stairs quickly um, and ran straight back up again. But I, I can't remember what I was saying, how weird, it's just gone out of my mind. But anyway, um, I'm going to wear some heeled knee high boots and oh yes i was saying about the restaurant we're going to a really lovely restaurant in tenterden which is actually where we used to live we've been there quite a few times now and we always go back to it because it's such good food it's such a nice restaurant and the atmosphere is really lovely so i think we are going to go for a drink beforehand at our old local pub um the white lion which is where you probably would have seen many a clip on the vlogs and on my stories because we went there pretty much every week. I think I honestly went there twice a week the entire time we lived there because it was such a good pub and the food was really good. So I used to go there a lot with my mum, Jack's mum, friends. Um, whenever Nadia came to stay, we always went there. And it was just so good. So I'm really looking forward to going back over there, back into town. And I think it should be feeling quite festive as well because the White Lion should have all their little Christmas decorations up and it should feel really lovely. So I'm looking forward to it. And as always, it will be lovely to have a catch up with Jack's mum and dad and Jack's brother Ben will be there. Grace is not going to be there because she is away at the moment in Abu Dhabi, which is absolutely incredible. She's gone with a group of her friends um, to the F1 races. 
they got some tickets so i'm pretty sure she is having the time of her life right now in the sunshine i'm just doing a quick top up of my makeup because i have been sat um at my desk all day and i did my makeup early this morning so i'm just gonna do a quick top up i shot some content this afternoon for the astrid and Mew campaign that i mentioned about earlier and i am so excited for it to go live fingers crossed it all gets approved um and i don't have to do any changes or anything but i'm so happy with the content it looks so christmassy and just exactly how i wanted so i'm really pleased makeup touched up my lip liner is downstairs so i am going to do that downstairs but my perfume of the evening is la perla just give me roses which is my favorite winter evening scent this smells incredible i absolutely love it. i think i'm actually running quite low so i'm gonna have to ask for another one of these for christmas i think because it's so good Anyways, I am going to head downstairs, top up my lipstick, jump in the car, and we will be off for dinner. So I will try and show you what I'm eating. I cannot wait. The food is so good there. I don't know what to have, actually. I think I'm going to have some seafood or fish or something. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Wednesday and you will have seen I spent the morning cleaning and prepping the guest room because my lovely little Georgia bear is coming to stay this evening and I am so excited I cannot wait to see her I haven't seen her properly for a good couple of months now and we have so much to catch up on there's always so much to chat about so I cannot wait to see her so anyways I am going to eat a quick bit of breakfast well it's kind of more like lunch now and get changed and go and pick up Georgia from the station hello everyone I'm back home I've picked up little G bear from the station she's just getting changed in the back <laughs> I could do this in the bedroom but I just, you know. <laughs> I, <laughs> I have been well and truly spoiled by G, which you did not have to do, but she's bought me flowers, which I'm just putting in a vase. We've got matching pyjamas, and how adorable is this little scented gingerbread? Oh, oh I'm going to buy an ornament for your tree, but I don't know what colours you Oh, I do. love that. I'm going to put that on the tree, because that will work. Yeah, it actually smells nice as well. Oh, I love it. Hi guys, <laughs> Wow, what's going on here? <laughs> also, Georgia has bought her brand new wellies. Have you worn them before? Never. Oh, Never. yay! Look, we still have the... I'm really getting into the country lifestyle. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. I've not even tried them on. Hopefully what did you say it. earlier? When you're... When you're a city and you're best... Oh, um, when you're a city girl but your best is a country girl. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, that's so good. All right, moment of truth. Oh yeah, you haven't tried them on yet? Oh, perfect. Oh, look good. At that. Oh, they look so nice. I really like hunters, actually. I know, I couldn't work out to get the short ones or the long ones, but... I used to have a short pair at the farm and I never wore them because I got mud all on my trousers whenever I wore oh, them. Oh, squeaky. Oh, nice and new. Yeah. So, the plan is we are... It's such a nice day today, it's really sunny. So we're gonna go for a little walk, make the most of the sunshine, and then come back, put our matching PJs on, which I can't wait for. And hopefully I have enough coal and I can put the fire on. Oh, and you we are can... really a country girl with coal. I know, I know. Yeah, well, it's because I put the fire on so much, it runs out really quickly. How nice to have a fire though. Oh, oh. it's so nice. 
it's actually like my favorite thing yeah and it's amazing how warm it, it heats the room yeah yeah i love it and i just love the smell and like the vibes. it just makes it so cozy oh i love it right, i'll do that when we get back go put my coat on everyone Hi. <laughs> that was like an inception <laughs> good morning we are out on a lovely walk this morning it's so, so nice, nice. And, like, fresh. yeah it's really fresh like also crisp. it sounds so silly but when you live in london you forget how clean yeah the air is yeah i can imagine that actually yeah it feels clean we are we actually went to bed so early i know we were like deep like chat but we were just tired yeah i was like jack went up to bed at like half eight i think we were like half nine yeah not much we after. tried yeah um but yeah we've had such a lovely time and oh look we're being watched <laughs> hello sir good morning <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're going out for a nice walk this morning. I think we should do quite a long walk. Yeah, I'm down. We'll go to the big woods and do a long walk and then go home and have some breakfast. Mm -hmm. 